Mercury is, sometimes called Mercury of all of us protection with two tanks and three supports, can be a pretty valuable strategy and they may even anticipate the decal would come out on the Pharah, but for now, does it like run away, are hovering pretty carefully over the 3-3 of the Winston, this is one of the more, uh, this is one of the more expected compositions, especially for Sanctum, having pretty heavy dive. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. Let's be fair to ourselves as well, like, the Reinhardt, not so great on this map. You really want that verticality of the Winston being able to come through fairly easily. Of course. They're just going to circle around the point. You can do a little bit of a switcheroo. But right now, already, you can see WGS moving onto the point, just getting pro uh, point priority. Run away and forced into, a, uh, forced into a situation where they actually have to attack. Yeah, Max own a bit of a cleave has already got that projected barrier and put his own bubble down, so a lot of damage can be coming the way of Runaway right now. Isu's taken extremely low as well. Mag has to leap up into the air, get a little bit more healing as he does uh, send himself sky high. End up getting taken out by Myumbong though, who's actually on the other side of the map, of course, and Zenyatta's going to be able to rain orbs with almost immunity as well. He's just sitting so far back, the Winston's concentrating on the front line. Laura is also going to take out Decal and take out Hisu as well. So, it should be WGS winning the first point cap. They even cap it first as well. While Gangnam Jin has to reset himself, jumps off the edge in the end. Yeah, wonderful positioning there from Yumbo, making sure that he could get all of those orbs in. He managed to do a great job of positioning himself where no one could really sort of challenge him out. He knew that the Mag would not be able to leap over and be able to challenge him out in that particular vein. He had to be potentially taken out by Gangnam Jim across the way when we saw the potential exchange of orbs between us and Yada. So, good job there by Myung Bong. He's already got himself that transcendence ready to go. Yeah, but Rally already coming through from WGS. There's going to be a grab available for Cargo, but killing Yusu already. Should end the fight, really. Hero Q going extraordinarily low. Double kill for Karyan with a primary rage. Jumps straight on in. Isn't really caring too much. Trying to bat the Zenyatta as well into the rest of his team. Another person ends up going down. Gangnam Jim was uh, caught out unawares by the primal rage. And uh, Myung Bong will end up finding the kill. Runaway having to reset all the way back to the spawn. Actually changing over to the Reinhardt. Away from the Winston. Wants to just get right up in the face and on the point. And that means they will actually give up a primal rage to do that, Jules. They had five ultimates ready to go, and he having expending decals uh, rally to try and make that attack work, trading it for the primal rage of Karayan. And now you can see Matt going around back, doesn't want to have any nonsense on the staircase, but he's already been victim of at least one boop. He's got to make sure that he knows where Mandu is. That was close. Graviton Surge comes in, Karayan going extremely low, but a transcend is mixed on top of oh oh the Lord. beat. It wasn't enough, though. QOQ finds three kills with a self destruct. Thank you very much. He talked about his bombs earlier on, Harry, and we're getting a case in point right here. 81% though for WGS. Runaway are still having to contest this. Decal is still on the point. He's even pop rally. Mag is just trying to clear him off. A WGS are going to have to just rally back onto the point with their own one. Pelican did use his. Everybody uh, stock full of armor. A beat coming through for Runaway now as well. Mag ends up falling to Myeonbong and still WGS are going to continue to hold. This oh is my, a slaughter. Karyan's pushing everybody back with the Primal Rage. They all were forced to step off the point. DJ Gong goes down and the rest of WGS just forced Runaway into that small little house. They end up taking Sanctum as well. Well, it was a good bomb, but they just lost too much. QO, Q was taken out before he could remake, and Hisu was gone as well. And we know when you lose that Zarya in these 3-3 three, three battles, you lose a huge amount of your brawling potential. And while WGS Armour did lose a lot from that exchange of ultimates, there was a little bit of that... Uh, there was the onus on Runaway to really eliminate WGS Armour from a point, because they were still contesting an occurring percentage. Which meant that they could basically just sort of like kite mag around, trying to avoid taking too much damage, and just sort of like cycle in and out of the points to keep it in their control. So WGS Armour just continued occurring percentage until we saw the return of Karayan, and then he just got that brutal... <laughs> Primal Rage in my back, just hitting everyone off the point, getting more in the corner. Right. More standard 3-3 for Runaway this time around. However, Flora is coming out on the Sombra. This is what we wanted to see, Harry. Carry on, though. He's already at 50% of the way to his uh, Earth Shatter. Max so far behind. 15%. Yeah, Mag having to play a little bit more sheepishly right here. We'll be looking for a potential inroad, but they do have control of the point right now. WGS Armour cannot get on, so they run away. Going to start getting that all-important percentage point up. Flora on the Sombra. Can be playing around the bank, but a little bit slow on the EMP generation. Crime may have to take this into his own hands with an Earth Shatter. Oh, he too ends up going down first, though. Mag finds the nice return kill. Using that flame strike right through Carrion Shield. 
Flora gets taken out as well by Gangnam Jin from a mile away, it seemed. Runaway just chasing away WGS. They did manage to find the point cap a lot better than they did last round. You can see Runaway seemed prepared for the eventual summer pick, but was kind of inevitable coming out from Flora right here. Seems like Gangnam Jin's kind of got a great tab on him at the moment, having a good idea of where positioning is. Flora generating the MP rail, so we've got to assume that he was being zoned out quite, quite effectively by the Zinyada, and you can see Gangnam Jin's going to be looking for the same thing right now to support his team. Big EMP, but Gangnam Jim instantly jumping in with the Transcendence. This is what we wanted to see, Harry. Oh. Yeah, there's no way they were going to be able to survive that, unfortunately. Runaway did have that other shadow available, but they want to go for a quick reset. Uh, point will swap back over to WGS armor. WGS also that was a very expensive fight for me. I'm not going to have any ultimates ready to go. It's going to be Mandu who is closest with that Sandbarry, but a Sandbarry by itself we're not going to be very good, Jaws, especially against a huge amount of damage. Runaway is ready to put against them. They almost have that all important combo, but Mag can always strike first, get a little bit of extra charge by swinging into the ground. Look how aggressive he's you placed. You shot him straight onto the point. QOQ is going to unleash that self destruct as well. Doesn't find anything, but that shot definitely did. The sound barrier only just saves Pelican as he manages to get back up on his feet once again. Runaway continue to fight on to this point. Pelican eventually ends up going down. They're going to need to cap it in the end. EMP is going to come through and a transcendence as well from Runaway to make sure no one goes down. Mag just regaining composure on the point. Decal gets slammed straight into the wall by Carrie-Anne. But he wasn't actually there to follow up on the Graviton Surge that was thrown out by Gargoyle. And Gargoyle goes down as well. It's an even trade thus far, but Myumbo and taking out Gangnam Jim means no healing for Runaway and they have to go for a reset. I got to give credit there to Myumbo and he actually managed to get that all important discord orb onto decal as he was being pushed through with that charge that meant that he could do more than 300 damage with a charge and actually instantly kill for brigitte who had accrued that extra rally armor otherwise that may not have been the instant kill that would have been required karyan is going to be playing defensively once again he's about equal with mag when it comes to that ultimate percentage going to be looking for plays to be made here it's going to be flora who's got the emp yeah but look runaway have no supports they're only 50% of the way there. Flora could just jump in now. Just He doesn't seem to mind whatsoever using their translocator to get close. EMP comes through and he manages to catch three people, Harry. He still had that armor as well, so he wasn't going down anywhere uh, near as quick as Flora wanted him to. Maybe he pulled the trigger a little bit early on the EMP. Hacks have worn off. Now Lee Gon's ready to bring everyone forward. Gangnam Jim will be joining him soon, but so many ultimates are available for both the sides at the moment. Carry on. He's got that Earth Shadow ready. He can put this in the bag. A beat used extremely early from uh, Lee J. Gong, but already Carry on dashes forwards and again taken out by Kyoku. Grav comes in, lands straight on top of Runaway, but a Transcendent should save them for the time being. A counter Grav comes out from Hisu as well. 99% for WGS and Runaway clean up. WGS and force them off the point. Oh, Myumbong there, potentially slightly late on that Transcendence, unable to save Karyan, who could have sealed that all with the Earth Shatter. Now himself and Mag can be equally aggressive, but if we were trying to get in each other's heads, I've got to try and get a feel for the enemy Reinhardt. How am I going to be able to land this Shatter? And QOQ, he's going to be looking for the basic bomb as well. He doesn't have the ability to combine it with a Graviton Search. He can combine it potentially with a stun coming out from Mag, using Red Earth Shatter and Gangnam. And she's actually taking the emergency swap. No longer on for Zinyata, wants to play the defensive Anna. More healing, keep Mag alive for the longest time, so he can be far more judicious as to when he will use that Earth Shatter. And you're not going to instantly die either to that EMP, which Flora has got off. Of course, it does strip away shields of the Zen, leaving him about 50 HP remaining. There's a beat coming through. self just from QRQ in the back. Carry Ann takes out Mag, though. That EMP was huge. Four people, including three tanks, were hacked in the end. Carry Ann and Mandu are just going to clean house, run away, just disintegrating right in front of their eyes. OT is going to tick through. Decal ends up going down. WGS with the 2 0 on the pool to start off the series. Who are this team, Jaws? They came out of trials. They've dethroned one finalist from season three already in a 4 0 fashion. And this must be what? 20% of Runaway's map losses since the beginning of last season? <laughs> they have not lost very many maps with this roster at all. Maybe four maps prior to this. This could be what, the fifth? I, it's some stupidly small number. Put it that way. I mean, Runaway right now, they're, they're comboing really well. They really are. QOQ, of course, getting that massive bomb and Sanctum. It's just Flora coming up big with these EMPs. There was only one that went a little bit wide. He went a bit too aggressive. 
when Runaway didn't have many ults at all. And then we saw, of course, Runaway switching over to the Ana last second. Felt like it was way more worth just keeping his tanks alive in the front line with that bio grenade. Of course, that can win a fight on its own too. If you do that, a massive anti-nade, the fight's pretty much done. There's not really much you can do um, apart from use the Zyre bubbles to cleanse them. But Flora coming up big, three... Uh, no, four man, in fact, EMP. Three tanks is obviously the main targets, and then no support ults to follow up with it. Perfect play from WGS. 2-0 as well on the pool is quite is not an easy feat, especially against Runaway. Yeah, speaking of follow-up, Karyan's getting just that as well. Got it. I can't understate how well Karyan's performing at going up against Mag. It's not an easy tank line to stand up against if you're going up against Hisu, QOQ, and Mag as a Reinhardt and you don't have a D.Va on your team because Flora is ever playing Sombra, you are really doing a good job to take advantage of the small advantages you can get. You've got to take every single little inch of those hacks can give you and carry on seizing them. Yeah, you, you speak about the hacks, just the vanilla ones, no EMP. He was hacking Mag like more often than not, just like, okay, no, you're not going to flame strike people. You can't hold shield like at all. You can see how much focus and pressure Runaway were putting onto that lineup. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. The Paul, of course, was a 2-0 to WGS, but we're going to be right back with Blizzard World. Hey guys, welcome back. We just saw WGS 2-0 Runaway on Sanctum. Uh, well, both on Sanctum and of course Shrine. But that is a match we thought would go the way of Runaway. And I think a lot of people were kind of thinking as well. And maybe it's a lack of focus coming through from Runaway right now to focus down Carrie Ann, who doesn't have Debra at his back. We saw Flora, of course, on the Sombra. It wasn't too much of a surprise to see that one pour out on the second map. Carrie Ann's just staying alive for so, so long. Just seems like perfect target calling from WGS, but not so much on the side of Runaway. Yeah, when we were theorycrafting this match, I suggested that potentially Elysia gone and his shot calling for Runaway would be impressive enough that they'd just be able to take advantage of the tiny 5v6 scenarios you have for the small moments when Sombra's looking for a hack, the ideal engage. But it seems thus far that, that WGS Summon are doing a great job of ensuring that Carrie Ann can just sustain himself against those waves of runaway crashing into him while flora looks for those incoming hacks and that is none too uh, little due to myunbong who is putting out huge amounts of pressure right now on the zinyana the, Zin the discord orbs seem always in the right place especially to guarantee picks i pointed out in the match there got one on uh, decal who had a huge amount of armor from a rally he had 350 health would not have died from a charge coming through from karayan if not the discord orb was there which meant the charge did 387 damage instead of 300 so good job there to ensure that instant pick otherwise we would have been able to pick up a mega health pack blizzard world will be the second map of course now this world's a bit of an odd one because again you can kind of pick a lot of these long-range dps I've seen a little bit of ash there are two real choke points when it comes on to when it comes to the first point as well when you think about it 
just literally two little avenues to the point and it, perfect ta perfect uh to perfect places lay down things like dynamite i can imagine we're going to see three three yes but i think it can also aid itself to more compositions like farah plus the sombra too there's a lot of avenues which you can actually enter the point and skirt around it too a lot of mega health packs attack as well and when it comes to su successfully attacking this point on point a at least <clears throat> pardon me with a three three composition one of the things that you'll often see teams do to great success when attacking this point is fake out rotations. And that is to pause it as if they're going to go down one avenue and then speed boost around another while a team puts himself in a defensive position for the first push. And this does well to try and remove a huge amount of space from an enemy Reinhardt. Because enemy Reinhardts want to play around the main crescent, which is defensive of a point, in order to make sure that they can use that as physical cover so they don't have to use up their shield HP eating up incoming enemy damage. And if you can deny that by rotating in total for fakie, that's when you can really... Yeah, fakie's a good word, dude. It is. I think it's a skateboard trick. It, 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 it's, a, it's a skateboarding term for riding on your less dominant foot as your primary one. Wow. And snowboarding as well. I, I never knew. Coming in with the hot Tony Hawks facts from 2002. <laughs> yeah, or, or some Sean White snowboarding. That was a terrible game. <laughs> it, Let's not talk about it. It was. SSX Tricky was much better. There has not been a good snowboarding game for at least 15 years. Quote me on that. When did SSX Tricky come out? 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Run away on the defense. Coming out with a 3-3. Not going to be faking out at all right here, but the just um, currently. Hovering over the signature composition, Flora once again on the Sombra may try to get a hack here. And of course, being on the attack does give Flora a little bit of room to try and survey the enemy defense and set up a hack potentially onto Mag, QOQ, Shui, or Lee J gone. Lee J gone, if he gets uh, a little bit aggressive looking for those boobs, if he's hacked, he could be incredibly vulnerable. These two little avenues on the point, like I was explaining a second ago, that's a massive problem if you're on the defense too. If you're, you're obviously going to expect the Sombra, yes. Of course, you can hold tab and you can see Flora doing it, but look at how far he can get round the back. It's gonna be so easy to land a hack. It depends who he's gonna go on first, but Runaway know this. Runaway know that he's at the back right now, or at least they can feel the uh, rain of SMG pellets like on their backs. But they're gonna be able to push forward against WGS. Of course, they don't have the deeper. Young Bomb being put on notice where it's gonna be a small tap in there from Karai. Ain't got, not gonna use a huge amount of his shield health, but neither's Mag. But keeping an eye out right now for Flora, and he's gonna get the Discord up straight away. Incoming suppressive fire from the side of Gangnam Jin. Yeah, you can half track him as well with that Discord Orb. Of course, it lasts for three seconds when you disappear from line of sight. So you will be able to track that, but it is going to be needed on the Reinhardt for sure. Carry on, backing off ever so slightly. Playing it rather slow. They want to wait for Flora to build up EMP. He's only 30% away. Miandu does end up going down first, though. Mandu falling here is going to be a big boom for Runaway. No speed boost for WGS, which means they can chase him down. And we saw the aggression from Flora's point of view up on the top of how Runaway identified the second that they pressed tab. Oh, they've got a Sombra, which means that those guys must be five over there, right? <laughs> so it's like, let's just run into them and we'll use up a huge amount of their resources, getting ourselves some ult charge, but WGS Helmet. When we think about ult jaws, got to think about one in particular, that's the EMP. Flora basically has it ready, but Gangnan Jin and Lee J go on to basically both ready to try and counter that out. So going to maybe play spread on the side of Runaway here, make sure that not everyone gets caught up in that EMP, but when I have at least one spot ultimate. Translocator in, I saw it coming. Instant Graviton Surge, mixed with both Transcendences as well. Beautiful that slam. shadow is big. Mag is gonna go down extraordinarily low, but a beautiful slam coming in from Shui, just stopping that charge and a smash um, a smash onto the shield of carry -Anne. Another beautiful counter shadow coming through from Maggie. Ends up going down though, which is the problem. They got no shield to hide behind, but Shui taking the game into his own hands is gonna be able to clear up the rest of the fight. And that's a heartbreaker with how much WGS invested right there. Shui with a clutch shield bash, saving Mag from that pin. That's exactly what was needed. Flora tracked a lot of enemies during that, got a lot of EMP charge, but didn't get enough. Gandan Jin managed to play his way around that incoming translocator. Sorry, coming from a mile away, had a quick rotate out and then came back in with a transcendence, keeping everyone nice and healthy. So credits to Runaway support line. They're dealing with Flora right now. Mandu has the advantage when it comes to the sand barrier. He can try and make everyone get aggressive, but we've got to worry about Hisu and that grab. That's going to be a primary win condition here for Runaway. B comes through. As soon as Carry and Shield end up destroying there, they end up charging forward through Mag. I believe Flora found a hack on him as well, so he was pretty much as good as dead. Transcendence come out at the end just to make sure everybody survives. Nice hack actually onto the Lucio, sends him to the ground like a dropping rock. But Transcendence, maybe a bit overzealous. Myeonbong chucking that one out at the end to make sure they win the fight for sure. But right away, are going to get forced back here. Flora's got another EMP too, so they didn't need to expend that in that fight. 
Meaning they might be able to just take the second point with ease. Yeah, I agree. Myumbong probably could have got away with not using that transcendence right there. But does mean Ganonjin now has a huge advantage when it comes to using that transcendence. It could be using a similar method to which Mandu did previously, where they just sort of like dove piled on top of Nag after they got the hack off from Flora. But Flora is now going to control the pace of this fight. Can use that translocator for an entrance with EMP if he so desires, but I prefer a more stealthy approach from the back, especially now that already we have seen the transcendence used. Okay, trans has been used. Here we right go. have to back off. EMP thrown in. Three people caught up. Three tanks as well. Means no shields to bear. Big Shadow comes through as well as that Graviton Surge. Everything's laying held top of each other, but a beat is going to save Runaway just for the time being. A rally is going to be used by Shui as well as they send in that self destruct and find Myumbo. They found one support. Can they find Mandu? Also, Carrie Ann's going to be the next victim of Runaway. Mandu ends up going down in the end. WGS commits a lot to that fight, but Runaway almost counter that instantly with just two supports. And Lee Jae Gon played that exactly perfectly. He got a great knockback on so many members of WGS Unmung. So what we saw was that everyone got hacked and then they got grabbed, but it was around the right-hand side of this corner. So there was a good amount of cover available to him. Everyone had to move around the corner to get fire onto that Graviton Surge. Lee Jae Gon denies that sightline by boofing them back and making sure they cannot follow it up. So great play there, Mag. That's a bit of a question mark, my buddy. Yeah, but there's a grab, though. I mean, they can jump on in. QRQ doesn't have his bomb, so they can't kill people through that transcendence. They still managed to catch Pelican off. So, oh, okay. That was a lot of orbs to uh, risk his space. Myumbong actually taking him out right from the very, uh, right from the spawn. So, Runaway having to back off here. That's the pick that they needed. Plus, WGS, look how many tank holes they have. They're also 20% away from another EMP. Floor are building these up like they're nothing. Yeah, Runaway here giving up the space. They aren't going to fight for it. They don't want to take that fight and give away the huge amount of ult charge. And instead, just going to concede that one with Hisu having gone down. They've only got one ultimate for the coming fight. They're just someone going to be looking like an absolute snack coming in. Look at all of this. They've got the Graviton Surge already. The EMP is ready. Yeah, grab on top of the Transcendence. They want to wait for this Transcendence to go away. Then they can EMP. They're moving forward. They managed to catch four, five people, in fact. Mag Hisu ends up going down. Gangnam Jim didn't have a support ultimate to bear either. So couldn't save his team. Carry Ann finds himself a nice double kill. He's got a shatter for the next fight as well. Only a minute remains for Jaw, so if a Runaway can get a final contest here on point B, could be that they can get a second point hold here against WGS someone if they are successful. They're tools to make it happen. QOQ with a self destruct, Mag with an Earth Shutter. Himself and Karayan going to be looking. Both of them want to channel the Eye of the Kaiser right here. Going to be a quick back off from WGS. Going to give Flora of a space to try and have a workaround. Maybe find a hack onto Mag. But Mag may look for something a little bit earlier. May try and claim the initiative with the help of Lee Jae Gon. They could chug that self-destruct in, in fact, Harry. Chuck it in, distract Carry and Hopefully he lifts his shield up. And then you can obviously shut up beneath it. But Cargo has that... Uh, um, Graviton Surge as well. self destruct is thrown in. Mandu ends up going down. Shadow comes through as well. Runaway using that beat to make sure they survive. A couple of seconds also. And EMP is going to come through right on top of the Transcendence. carry on still managed to find the pin on Shui though. So they are two men up. Main Tank and Brigitte are going to go down for Runaway. And they end up losing a couple more members. But WGS forced to use the beat at the very end. Mandu had to jump onto the point to cause overtime to tick through. And Runaway are going to hold WGS right before the second point. Oh, QOQ hero plays. Mandu absolutely evaporated by that self-destruct. There was no availability for the sound barrier. I guess Mandu was like, I don't want to channel my sound barrier right now because if I die mid-cast, I'm going to look pretty silly. So <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be a highlight reel. <laughs> guess, I, guess I'll guess i die, can't find cover. And after that, we saw the attempt at the Transcendence to save everybody, but Karayan was sort of overwhelmed. He got to such low health afterwards that he could not help to clean up that particular uh, fight. And Gennan Jin actually had a really good amount of restraint to be able to hold on to his Transcendence and then save everyone who got caught in Gargoyle's grab thereafter. So a great support ultimate rotation there from Runaway, which allowed them to out-sustain in that fight. And not only that, they had the advantage of being closer to spawn as well. So if it came to being a nutrition-based fight, it would have been in their favor. We saw Pelican move over onto the Tracer, but could not get back in time. Blizzard World's terrain isn't exactly friendly for that. Decal being swapped out as well, Harry, obviously for Sui at the beginning of the game. And maybe that's all that they needed. They were like, Decal, you're going a little bit too aggressive. I know you want to be your former teammates, but hold up. Hold up a second. Mace to the face. We need Sui in the action. Before the second point as well, it's it's a really interesting point the way you look at it. And like you said, the geometry, yeah, it's pretty special in Blizzard World. It is a theme park after all, but 
the spawn point, especially with the defenders, when it is so close to second, is so much closer than the um, the offensive team. It could be so punishing if you lose a couple of them to start off with because they have to get back so quickly. Obviously, we saw a switch over to the Tracer to try and do so. Uh, I guess the main comparable point for a hybrid would be uh, maybe Hollywood. Flora, going to avoid that whip shot, just get a couple of percentage points with the SMG of Pokemon to Runaway, who are coming out of the standard 3-3 once more. And this is really the bread and butter of Runaway. For a season and a couple of games now, they have just been so dominant when it comes to this 3-3 performance. I don't anticipate them really changing this up at all. I'll go in for a quick rotation. I'll try to find Flora, who goes so low. Yeah. You can see Gangnam Jim and uh, Lee Jae-gong going so aggressive on the supports. I mean, Lee Jae-gong was actually behind Carry Ann Shield trying to boop him in. They're going to play this corner, get hit with a meaty flame strike. So this a uh, little bit of extra charge for Carry Ann. Two ticks have been acquired. Up to 80% now. They're going to have to touch at some point. Trying to wait for Flora's ult. It's just a little bit late, I think. They ended up trading a lot of members, a lot of tanks. Palico and Gargoyle end up going down. Mag is going to fall as well. But Runaway, they're still putting a whole lot of pressure on carry Ann. Only needs to hold shield in this instant, but it's going to get instantly destroyed by the oncoming assault from Hisu. He's so high charged in the beginning of this game. Doesn't mean he can just tear through that shield. An almost record pace for Runaway here as they end up capping first. Five minutes now and 20 seconds remaining to move it on to just before second point to yeah, win. Flora had his translocator set up for a first point hold right there. Just teleported back into the midst of Runaway. <laughs> hey guys! Hey, what's up? Uh, time out, time out. Don't, don't mind me. Jiroku's going to get a quick rematch right there and run away they just got so aggressive they forced Flora off guard they're like why are they diving a sombra but it worked out some great shot calling there from Lee gone and now run away can try and just surge this on forward it's exactly what they'll do wow okay early transcendence Flora has got EMP he's gonna use that translocator to go back there it is big slam's gonna come through this should be all that they need but a graviton surge is thrown in Flora's gonna go down already so no EMP now available Harry QOQ dives straight inside the graviton surge picks up a double kill of his own and run away they've still got ults to spare they only used two in that engagement of Flora was killed before he could get his EMP off. Yeah, channeling there on the Vancouver Titans. Bumper dies, Mag dies, we don't care. We'll win the fight anyway. We'll just throw down the Graviton Surge and swing on in with QOQ and his cleave and Shui as well. To be just helmet now have to win the next fight. This is going from zero to 100 real quick with four minutes and 20 still on the clock. They can still combination the Graviton Surge with the EMP. It's going to get thrown in. From Hisu though, Gargoyle is going to go down, SVMP. and a beautiful shadow, we there need the EMP, finally stripping away a couple of the shields, Gangnam Jim and Lee Jae Gong were safe, yes, but at what cost, Hisu and Mag are going to go down, and Gangnam Jim getting chased away, finally, WGS fighting a semblance of a team fight, they're just going to clean up the last couple of members, Gangnam Jim going to fall, Flora only getting 20% of his ult charge, finishing off QOQ before he can reset also, right away, invested heavily into that fight, but they've got a Technically, a transcendence for the next 15% going on 10 now for Gangnam Jim. WGS through the whole armory and the kitchen sink at Runaway there to get some semblance of stability. Flora does get the Discord up, but doesn't want to risk it. It's going to pop out with only 35% of the ult charge that is required to get that EMP, but Karayan is a little bit further ahead. Max will have to play very defensively compared to Karayan here because Karayan almost has that Earth Shadow 91% thus far. Pelican driving forward with a rally should be required gonna make him a lot more sturdy you can see with QOQ right here is gonna get a lot of pressure onto the cart forcing WGS element to play on the low ground and keep back contested both Zenyatas have their transcendences online and carry on has that shadow he's ready to rock and roll here's the engagement Gang and Jin unleashing that transcendence so early Myobong is gonna do the same thing he's a little bit more delayed so WGS can play a little bit more aggressively that shadow did absolutely nothing and Gargo gets trapped off in the back line a beautiful shadow comes through from Mag as well as that grab coming as well a self-destruct layer on top QOQ finds a triple kill into doing? the quads Pelican's gonna go down as well a runaway with a decisive blizzard while map ends up securing it Want a piece in the series as well. That fight, those fights always look so good for WGS until he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try the grab, guys. I'm just gonna try. Don't mind me. And look, there's Flora's translocator it was actually in the graviton surge. So <laughs> when he away. took it, <laughs> like obviously you do have the iframe of the invincibility frame during translocator, so you can actually move across. But it doesn't like he did not take that at the correct time. Did get taken out. And QOQ has just been absolutely monster over the course of these two maps, even though only one of them has been Runaway's claim. The beautiful thing about 3-3, especially when you go up against the Sombra 3-3, is that you can see in these fights, especially when they're slowed down, if you watch it at like 0.25 speed or like 0.5 speed, you can see the, which ultimate's coming out. So, okay, so we're going to use the grab here. We're going to wait for a sound barrier potentially 
for it to get countered with or a transcendence. And then as soon as that runs out, we're going to use the EMP and then just roll on forward from there. And you can really see how much um, how much prowess these shot callers have in just kind of layering these fights out. Run away, take the map, leading one to a well, one apiece in the series so far. We'll see if they can bring it back. We'll see if WGS can take the next one. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec.